this is our guillotine and as you can see it will chop your arm off if you're not careful since last time you saw the guillotine we've made some changes we cut stuff off we shined it up and now it's better and ready to cut a lot of stuff. We've got a ton of lighters, an old TV, crap ton of graham crackers, a lot of soda pop, pancakes, ton of pillows, and me. First up we're gonna do an old CRT tube TV because why not? Oh. <laughs> Didn't stand a chance. <laughs> That is some thick glass. With two C's. And that's why these things weigh so much. Yes, I'm sure there's some toxic chemical that will kill us in the next 30 seconds, but. You're gonna die anyway. Yeah. You have to clean this up. You push the button, you have to clean it. I'm making pancakes over here. Nice and centered. Safety off. Safety off. <laughs> what scent are you picking up? Dr. Thunder. I think I'm smelling the pineapple. Is that what that is? Yeah, one of them was pineapple. Dr. I... Thunder is all the drinks mixed together. <laughs> That's how they make Dr. Thunder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next up, I've got two similarly sized bones. This one is ostrich, and this one is cow. The ostrich one seems like it's kind of dried out and maybe more brittle, so I'm gonna say this is equivalent to an arm. I said earlier that this will cut your arm off. This will prove it. If it can cut through this one, then I'm gonna say that this guillotine is capable of cutting your freaking leg off. Right? Making pancakes. Ostrich bone. Can it cut your arm off in three, two, one? I'm having my doubts. Is this real? Yeah, it's real ostrich. From what region? Northern region. Your arm would be cut off. Now let's see if your leg would survive. Your leg bone in three, two, one. My bones. This one was a lot wetter and fresher. What can you tell me about the specimen? Her name was Bertha, and uh, she lived a good life. Real cow. And then she was donated to science. She chose to donate her body to science. Okay. So don't worry. Next up is like 30 something boxes of graham crackers that I've got a Jenga tower as high as I can. How many graham crackers does it take to stop a guillotine? I don't know if it would be possible. Are you done yet? Uh, nope. We got about three more bags. I'm about halfway through the first bag. <laughs> okay, this thing is super unstable, so where's the clickers? Three, two, one. Yeah, it didn't slow it down at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's so many graham crackers. Luckily we all got kids, so <laughs> bringing the kids over after so no food will go to waste. <laughs> Just let them loose on this pile. It'll be gone in an hour. Just looked back at the video and did the math and that was about 774 graham crackers. I think it was a little more because we had some in there for shims. So, at yeah. least 774 graham crackers. Are you done yet? I haven't got one and a third bag through. One lighter or 112 lighters. And we've got some flame for ignition.
Like half of our lighters survived, so we're gonna do it again. Every sitcom has done it. The classic frozen turkey the day before Thanksgiving. Maybe it'd be easier to thaw a turkey though if it was cut in half. I can confirm. Ugh. I feel like we gotta do lengthwise. What is that called when you do that to a bird and you cut it that way? It's, I'm sure it's called a thing. The starboard side. <laughs> That was a uh, that was a pretty clean cut. The blade did bounce a bit, but I think the bird deflected the blade, and it looks like it barely hit the our cutting edge right there on the table. Otherwise, it would have been like a pretty seamless cut. I'm still surprised. Like, I'm not even sure where the bones are. Yeah, it looks like it's all meat. I don't see any bone. Is this bone? Yeah, that's, that's bird neck and it is still frozen in you know what if you still can't thaw it quickly in half you can do it in quarters now that your turkey is successfully quartered you can do the impossible one day thanksgiving meal you're welcome this two by four represents you super scientific how many pillows need to be between you and the blade in order for you to not die um I mean, I want as many pillows as possible. If I were to be up there, I wouldn't try to chance it on just like five. But price is right rules. You can't go over. 10. That's it? <laughs> like vertically stacked 10. So I put 30 pillows in. They kind of fell to the side, but you the get board, the idea. The board's safe. How do we determine if there's a mark in the board, he's severely injured. Okay. If it's split he's just dead fair enough okay Three, two one oh Fine. i don't know it was still kind of thuddy yeah that was that was still pretty thick <laughs> oh i think that might that, have been a I think I might have you. <laughs> that, that would have broken some ribs what does the two by four look like oh the point would have hit like right there and there's like nothing okay mitchell so do we try it with 10, since that was my guess? Yeah, let's, let's do it with 10 and see if that... Wait, you, you were saying 10 thick, though. That I'm was 10 thick. I'm gonna do a pyramid of 10. 10 pillows! Oh, I don't think so. That wood shoot at the bottom? I don't think so. Nothing? Oh! oh that's, he, that's split. Is that dead? He dead. <laughs> Last thing we've got is a freaking mountain of pancakes. Yesterday, when we were thinking of this video idea, for some reason, <laughs> we just thought a lot of pancakes would be really cool. The more I've been cooking pancakes, the more I'm like, this is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's been cooking pancakes for hours. <laughs> Not done yet. All morning. <laughs> All morning. And it's well in the afternoon now. <laughs> so now we're going to stack a bunch of pancakes and cut them with a guillotine. <laughs> I'm sure I've had a worse idea. <laughs> what were we smoking yesterday? <laughs> At what point do we give up and just call this a failed idea? I think we called it failed before we started. <laughs> we tried stacking them up and the taller we got, the more they just kept getting squished out the bottom. And we've got a rod down the center of them now, but that's, that's the best you're gonna get with pancakes. Now you know. <laughs> failed idea. <laughs> the frame hit the steak just crumpled it <laughs> this was like six hours of my work <laughs> for for nothing <laughs> you 
gotta clean that up. <laughs> oh my gosh. This video took a lot of time. It was really expensive to make. And if you want to support us, you can go to waterjetknives.com. We're actually doing a Black Friday deal right now. You can get 25% off. Use the promo code BLACKFRIDAY25. And we're also launching a new service with Waterjet Knives. We now have a knife maker's sub box. It includes everything you need to make a different knife every single month, along with a bunch of other extras. You also get discounts on waterjetknives.com all the time. And yeah, it's great for the hobbyist, the beginner, or even the more hardcore. The links are all down in the description, so go ahead and check those out. And uh, thanks for watching. And don't make fun of us too much for the pancake thing, okay? we.